Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with uh, yet another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what comes in the mail. That's not what this is. This is Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Although I got something coming in the mail today, maybe that's what's got my brain buzzing. But anyways, uh, yeah, I've got something that came by way of Exotic Nudes. Go to ExoticNudes.com and use the coupon code the Ramen Raider for a discount. And we've got this Nong Shim potato noodle. And what I'm going to show you about this one is something that I uh, tried last night with something else altogether. And I thought it might be an interesting garnish for this one. So we shall see. It's got a vegetable, the red powder of doom, and we've got our noodle ball. And the noodles have potato flour in them, which is a good thing because potato noodles are kind of neat. They've got a little extra cha to them, you know what I mean? Cha, cha, cha. But how's everybody doing? I haven't done an episode in like a week. <sighs> Freaking! I will say this, Nong Shim's packaging is horrible. Not the graphics, they look nice, but when it comes to like, and there's, and most, I will say not just Nong Shim, but most South Korean noodle companies. It's like, can't you just put a little extra room in there? Because now I've got a stove covered in. I mean, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's crap everywhere. It's crapulent. I don't care for it. So let me grab a fork and stick it in my eye. There we go. There we go. So let's wipe this up. You know, these little bits would make a great topping for salad. If you so if you're a, a hoarder, you could just instead of throwing them in the trash like I'm about to, you could have a Ziploc bag handy by the stove for your little extra little noodle bits and save them for a salad. But is that a little weird? I think a lot of people are a little weird. Anyways, one of our waning quotes of the day from the book Momofuku Ando Speaks. Uh, Ando Momofuku-san shares some of his wisdom of the many years he enjoyed on the planet. Number 301. There is no meaning to simply living long. True happiness lies in, having, uh, in, lies in living long while being able to enjoy your health without putting yourself in the care of others. So, you can live a long time and be happy, but don't be all like laid up in the hospital and hanging out in there, because that's not what it's about. Oh, and for those of you who, who are, you're doing it wrong. Is that what you're saying, Mr. Um, Mr. Um? <laughs> you're doing it wrong. That's kind of insensitive, I think. But, but who am I? I'm the ramen raider. And you know what I did last week? I walked 127 miles. Seriously. From Sunday to Saturday of last week, I walked 127 miles. According to the Fitbit thing. That's neither here nor there. I did over 250,000 steps. I did like 274,000 steps. A lot of time invested. 100 hours of walking. 100 active hours. But once you get over 20 miles a day, boy, it starts to kind of become something you have to do. It's weird. But it's been good. And what else is going on? Uh, there is something really rad coming in the mail today. I'm excited about it. I've got a new chair. I'm sitting on a new uh, a seat. It's a stool. The old one with the screws in it. That's over there. Need to, I guess I should just get rid of it. I automatically try to go over to that stool. 
This is actually <sighs> really comfy. It's a little tall. I mean, it's like at the lowest point right now. It's kind of, it's like exactly perfect, but I don't know. I think Kit wishes it was a lower height. Alright. Alright. Make sure you can see what's a happening here. You know, crankiness out there. I can't take any more crankiness today. You guys have been ridiculously cranky. Miles, Mimi, no more cranky. Be nice to each other or that's it. Then Miles, knock it off and Mimi, knock it off. It's as simple as that. I've had enough of the infighting. I swear you'd think it was like Mimi and Miles were like Israel and Palestine or Russia and the US. They just can't get along. And no amount of di diplomacy from me or sanctions make any difference. Potato noodle. Hmm. Noodles a little goofy on the outside, which I like. The broth. Nice, tasty, uh, Korean ramen style broth. Definitely up my alley. Oh, that's right. So remember the crazy, crazy fork? Uh, actually, it's called the swirl fork. Well, the fella who makes them said, oh no, dude, you're using like this other one. You need to use this one. So here's the swirl fork. You can get them on Amazon. And uh, yeah, I told him, yeah, yeah, I'll play with these things in my show. So I'm gonna try playing with one of these if I can get this dang thing open. Ah, uh, come on. Open. Cooperate. Swirl. Let's go for this one. I'm, I'm going with the... Is this the clear one? This is a clear one, which is more like the opaque. Are you guys doing stuff that's going to get you in trouble out there? No. Then be good. Oh wait, that didn't make any sense. Anyways, if you look at this one, the tines are longer. All right, here we go. We're gonna try the swirling. Now supposedly, it holds noodles on this fork like nothing else. It's not true. It definitely doesn't do that. So, but it's a fork that has a funny design and it's a novelty fork. And that I'll get with. It's a funny fork, huh? Look at that fork, swirling, swirling.
There you go. It's a fork that has a odd, odd tines. There you go. Ah, oh, come on. I swear, you know what? I think I read the amount of water that was required for this one. Oh, come on, let go, you piece of crap. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I used enough liquid. Where's that freaking package? Now I'm ticked. Four hundred fifty mils. That's what I put in. Huh. Okay. Um. I want to do a. Uh. Do a ladle. You mean like that's really what you, how you do that with your deal? I got a ladle. Uh. Oh, let's see that. Yeah. Got an egg. This is a farm egg. Gonna crack the egg into there. Bye bye egg. Now I'm gonna get rid of the the white. Come on. Let go of the goo egg. Put it right there. Look at that. That is a nice looking egg right in the middle of stuff. Oh, come on. What's the problem? Oh, there we go. Why did it say camera off? Out of the kitchen! <laughs> Don't worry. There will be fun to ha be had shortly, but I've got to finish this up before this stupid camera explodes. So we got that. We're going to put a little bit of mung bean sprout. I think right here. And then I've got a bunch of spring onion. I'm going to put right here. God. I pray this is the last time I've got to deal with spring onion in this way. You'll see tomorrow, and you'll be like, oh my god, oh my jeebus, wowie wow. So this is the thing that I'm like excited about today. You ever seen these at the store? Whisps. Whisps. Hoyasps. So what you do... You crunch them up. You crunch them. You crunch them. And then you'll take some of the crunchy bits and you sprinkle them on your noodles. And then you have crunchy topping. Who doesn't like crunchy topping? And it's cheese, which goes good with ramen. As does. Sesame seeds. And to wrap things up today, as per usual, some pepper flake. Oh, on the yolk. I can get rid of that in post. Well, let's allow Rotato to enamor us lugubriously. You ready? Here we go.
All right, tomorrow you're gonna see the coolest thing ever. Freaking ever. All right? Watch tomorrow. Well, maybe you will. There's another thing. There's a thing that's gonna come today and the thing that's gonna come tomorrow. And the thing that, does, that, comes to, that needs to come tomorrow doesn't show up until after I do my show. You gotta wait another day. Cross your fingers that it's tomorrow. All right, this has been Hans Romerator wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Go join the uh, Ramen Junkies group. Ramen Junkies, Instant Noodles, the Ramen Raider over on Facebook groups. It's rad. 56,000 people as of today. Waiting to see your pictures about noodles. Hey, I'm going to do a uh, video on how to take pictures of noodles. You might learn something. Or you might teach me something. 